Peggy 18. The most challenging part of creating Darksiders is getting these fantastic environments to match the amazing characters that Joe has created, to making them feel like they fit together like a glove. We have an amazing concept team, really great artists. Everyone contributes and, you know, a lot of times design will sort of lead the stuff that we're creating. I think what's really unique about the Dark Shadows universe is the opportunity for exploration. It's just such a vast world and it's so teeming with life and teeming with character that it's the kind of place that compels you to just see more. Scale is really important in the fiction, mainly because you want to get that sense that it is a world bigger and beyond anything that we've ever seen. And that's why we started Dark Stars 1 on Earth, because we wanted to give you that anchor point. Here's the real world, here's what real looks like. Now it's going to get more crazy from here. It's pretty challenging to bring a world like Darksiders to video games, because unlike other worlds and apocalyptic worlds that you may have seen in other games, in the Darksiders world, we have no photographic reference. We have concepts, we have to make everything up from ground up. The White City is sort of our version of heaven. We didn't really want to show what heaven looks like, so the White City is this outpost where the angels are. The Eternal Throne is where the lords of the undead rule over the undead plains, so there's a lot of skeletal lords and stuff that rule from that floating fortress. The Dead Plains is the area of death. It's not necessarily evil place, it's basically the one area that keeps everything in balance, so all the souls go there to be cleansed. In terms of size, if Darksiders 1 were the moon, Darksiders 2 would be Earth. Scale is very important in the world of Darksiders because we want to convey a sense of wonder to players. They need to feel like they're in the midst of something grand, and I think we capture that. You know, a lot of our architecture, a lot of our statues, and everything that you see in the world is kind of built to like a humongous scale. Also, height and depth, everything. It's such a big, huge place. It's going to feel like a real journey to the player. For me, the best thing about Darksiders 2 is the world. When you play action adventure games, the world is so important. It's got to have cool locations, it's got to have cool NPCs, cool characters to kill. I mean, it's what gives the game context. You have all the moves and all the abilities and all the different things you do in the game, but I like to be immersed in the world that I'm in. I think Darksiders delivers that in spades.